Now let us see how to convert an epsilon NFA to NFA. Epsilon NFA means the NFA with the epsilon transition. So if you want to convert an epsilon NFA to NFA, then first of all you are going to need uh, to know that what is the epsilon closure, and then we are going to use that epsilon closure to convert the epsilon NFA to NFA. So I have written a simple algorithm or you can say simple procedure to convert an epsilon NFA to NFA and after converting that NFA we can convert it to DFA. The procedure will be we, uh, we have an epsilon NFA with epsilon move then we convert with the epsilon NFA with epsilon move to without epsilon move and then we convert this to DFA. So what is the procedure first of all first of all uh, find out all the epsilon transition from each state uh, from Q that will be called as epsilon closure that means for every state find an epsilon closure then delta dash transition can be obtained and epsilon dash transition means that epsilon closure on epsilon delta mu that will, we will see then step 2 is repeated for each input symbol and for each state of a given epsilon NFA now using the resultant state transition table for equivalent NFA uh, without epsilon can be built so let me explain you. I, I know that it, it is very difficult to understand, but let me explain you. Assume we have this following epsilon NFA. This is the state Q0. This is the transition on simple A. This is an epsilon move. This is the state Q1. This is a transition on B. This is an epsilon move. Then this is a state which is Q2. This is a transition on C. A, B, and C. Now we want to convert the following NFA with epsilon move to epsilon NFA. Then first of all, the first step is for every symbol find the epsilon closure. We have three symbols here A, B and C because this, this uh, particular NFA is built on three symbols. The language is containing three symbols which are A, B and C. So first of all let us find the epsilon closure on every particular input. Uh, if for example you are at state Q0 then we will find epsilon closure this is denoting epsilon closure and then we will see uh, what are the states we can go after seeing the a symbol and then we will see what are the states we can go after that see why i am taking epsilon closure two times generally when uh, if you know regular expression that i will be teaching a little point of time in case of regular expression if we say that epsilon dot a then it is equal to a dot epsilon which is equal to epsilon dot a dot epsilon and all these are actually equivalent to a so that epsilon we can concatenate epsilon with any particular symbol and still we are going to get that symbol only so that is why if with symbol a initially we can have any number of epsilons after that we can have any number of epsilons so we know that if i am going to make a transition for epsilon closure first then i'll make a transition for a and then i will make transition for epsilon again right so that is why we are going to find epsilon closure then transition on that particular symbol and then epsilon closure again so for the state q0 what is the epsilon closure the state for q0 the epsilon closure is q0 q1 and q2 that means just by seeing an epsilon symbol what are the states you can go so uh, from q0 we can go to q0 itself we can go to q1 as well as we can go to q2 now if we are at q0 and there is a symbol a then we are again going to q0 so there is a symbol a again we are going to q0 and then if we are at q1 by seeing a symbol a we are not going anywhere that means there is no transition which is defined for the symbol a that means we are not going to any state which is phi in the same way if we are at state q2 by seeing a symbol a we are not going anywhere because there is no transition which is defined for symbol a therefore we are again going to phi again uh, here we have only one state which is q0 so by if you are at state q0 just by seeing, seeing an epsilon symbol we can go to state q0 q1 and q2 so we can go to state q0 q1 and q2 okay this is for the symbol a now do the same thing for symbol b as well as for symbol c okay this is for symbol b this is epsilon closure this is epsilon closure 
So if you are at Q0 state, then just by seeing epsilon, you can go to state Q0, you can go to state Q1, you can go to state Q2. If you are at state Q0, by seeing B, you are not going anywhere. If you are at state Q1, by seeing B, you are again going to Q1. If you are at state Q2, by seeing B, you are not going anywhere. And then the epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1 and Q2. It is Q1 and Q2. Okay. Now let us find the same for the symbol C. Let us find the same for the symbol C. This is C epsilon closure, epsilon closure, and then this is Q0. Okay. So I know that if you are at state C, just by seeing epsilon symbol, you are only going to state C itself. Sorry, uh, if you are at state Q0, just by seeing an epsilon symbol, you are going to state Q0, you are going to state Q1, as well as you are going to state Q2. Now, on Q0, if you see a symbol C, then you are not going anywhere. On Q1, if you see a symbol C, then you are not going anywhere. If you are at Q2, on seeing a symbol C, you are again going to Q2. Okay, now the epsilon closure again. So epsilon closure of Q2 is only Q2. So this is for the state which is Q0. Find the same things for, for the state Q1 as well as for the state Q2. So let us do it. This is epsilon closure. This is A. This is epsilon closure. And this is Q2. If you take the closure of sorry uh, for q1 let us find for q1 then we'll find for q2 if you're at state q2 just by seeing an epsilon you can go to q2 as well as you can go to q1 so you can go to q1 as well as you can go to q2 if you're at q1 just by seeing a symbol a you're not going anywhere you're not going anywhere and by seeing a symbol a on q2 you're not going anywhere therefore epsilon closure will be Five. Now again find for B epsilon closure epsilon closure. If you are at state Q2 by seeing the epsilon closure, if you are at state Q2, sorry it is Q1 not Q2. If you are at state Q1 by seeing epsilon you can go to Q2 as well as you can go to Q1. So you can go to Q1 as well as you can go to Q2. Then if you are at Q1 by seeing a symbol B you can go to Q1 itself. If you are at Q2, by seeing a symbol B, you cannot go anywhere. Now, epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1 as well as Q2. Now, find the same for C, the symbol C. It is epsilon closure, epsilon closure, and this is Q1. So, epsilon closure of Q1 is Q1 and Q2. If you see a symbol C on Q1, if you see a symbol C on Q1, then you are not going anywhere. If you see a symbol C on Q2, then you are going to Q2 itself. And then epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 itself. Right. Now, make the same table for Q2. This is epsilon closure. This is symbol A. This is epsilon closure. And this is Q2. On Q2, the epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2 itself. Then, uh, Q, uh, if, uh, if you see a symbol A on Q2, then you are not going anywhere. And then it is 5. Again, on seeing a symbol B, for epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2. By seeing a symbol B, you are not going anywhere, so it is 5. If you are at Q2, by seeing a symbol C, so epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2. By seeing a symbol C, you are going to Q2 and the epsilon closure of Q2 is again Q2. So we got this one. Now after getting this, these uh, tables, we can make a straight transition diagram of the NFA. Now let us uh, make the straight transition diagram. I don't have enough space, so I'm writing here. So it is representing, if you are getting symbol A, symbol B and symbol C. If you are at straight Q0, you are at straight Q1, you are at straight Q2. And this is the initial state and Q2 was the final state. Q2 is the final state. Okay. Now you can see on Q0, 
by seeing a symbol a we go to q0 q1 and q2 so we are going to q0 q1 and q2 that means these three states on q0 by seeing a symbol b we are going to q1 and q2 we are going to q1 and q2 on uh, q0 by seeing a symbol c we are only going to q2 if you are at q1 by seeing a symbol a we are going to phi if you are at q1 by seeing a symbol b we are going to q1 and q2 if you are at q1 by seeing a symbol c we are going to q2 now if you are at q2 by seeing a symbol a you are going to phi if you are at q2 by seeing a symbol b you are going to phi if you are at q2 by seeing a symbol c you are going to q2 you are going to q2 okay now this is a final uh, state transition uh, table for the F nfa so we converted an epsilon nfa to nfa and now we uh, we can convert this particular nfa to a uh, dfa so by seeing this you can easily make out uh, the states i don't have enough space here let me write it here so uh, we have by by just by seeing this let me draw it if you are at state q0 second state is q1 and third state is q2 and q2 is a final state so it is saying uh, if you are at q0 by seeing a symbol a you can go to q0 q1 and q2 you can go to q0 q1 and q2 again if you are at q0 by seeing a symbol b you can go to q1 and q2 by seeing a symbol b you can go to q1 as well as q2 right if you are at q0 by seeing a symbol c you are going to q2 if you are at q1 by seeing a symbol a you are not making any transition if you are at q1 by seeing a symbol b you are making a transition to q1 as well as q2 if you are at q1 by seeing a symbol c you are making a transition to q2 itself if you are at q2 by seeing a symbol c you can make a transition for q2 so this is an nfa uh, which is equivalent to this epsilon nfa now you can convert this nfa to a dfa and that i told you that we have done in the previous videos that is a very simple process okay so uh, now let us move on to the next section